I'm here at the European Development Days in Brussels, and with me is Mark Engelhardt, the first Vice President of KFW. Mark, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for having me. Mark, tell me, how is KFW getting engaged right now in one of the buzz uh, terms here in development right now, blending? Well, in fact, KFW is already active in blending for quite some time. We're doing this firstly with the German government uh, for more than 10 years now, uh, where we match uh, government funds, government grants, with loans KFW is taking up on the capital market. And we're doing it also with the EC now for more than five years in, in different facilities the EC has set up uh, during the last years. So we have quite some good experience now in, in, in this growing field of mixing public funds with, uh, with loans. How exactly does that work? Yeah, well, there are different kinds of, of, of blending. Uh, the, the most simple form and, the, and the, the, the form that has been used so far the most is, is just uh, setting a grant in parallel to a loan. Uh, and just to, uh, uh, in order to make the overall package more attractive, more viable, uh, for less developed partners. Uh, you can imagine uh, also more sophisticated, more intelligent forms of blending uh, grants, for instance, and that's what we do already quite uh, substantially with the German government funds, uh, you can use them as interest rate subsidies. Uh, by this, you can reach a much higher leverage of, of one single euro donated as a grant. Uh, you reach a much higher outreach in the end as the loan. You can also uh, use uh, grants as risk mitigation uh, facilities, uh, such as guarantee fund, funds, uh, for instance, uh, first, last, first loss tranches in, in structured finance models. By this, you also increase the leverage uh, of, uh, of the grants, and you, you, can, also, um, you can also reach um, other uh, project types that, that are not viable or not financiable uh, with a sheer grant or with a sheer loan. Can you tell us a little bit about evaluating those projects? Do you have some information about impact? Perhaps you can talk about an example that KFW has worked on. Yes, I mean, as I said, we work a lot already with the EC uh, uh, in, in the blending, in, in mixing, for instance, in, uh, in the Mediterranean uh, region. Um, there uh, we have a project, uh, for instance, on, on, a, on a solar park in, in the Gulf of Suez, where with, uh, I think it's 10 million, uh, 10 million grant of the, uh, of the EC, uh, mixed with loans both from uh, KFW but also from other European development banks such as the French AFD or the European Investment Bank, uh, reaches an overall project volume of much more than 100 million euro. Uh, something the EC alone could never fund, but using other funds, loan funds from, uh, from development banks, using the joint expertise those development banks uh, uh, dispose of, uh, the EC can also be engaged in such uh, large-scale infrastructure projects. Why haven't we done this more? Uh, what are some of the criticisms, what are some of the concerns uh, that come up when you talk about lending? Well, first of all, of course, you have to address legal issues. Uh, the EC already uh, cha changed a lot of their regulations in order to make uh, uh, blending uh, possible and then of course you have some political reservations uh, of some people that, that may think uh, well if you use these grants together with development banks what about uh, don't we leave out the poor why, why, why should we give our grants uh, to, to larger scale projects the answer to that in our experience is that, that the contrary is the case uh, because you, you can save grants that were used, for instance, for financing uh, projects in middle-income countries, uh, be it, for instance, in the energy sector, which could easily finance by, by a blending instrument. You save these grants and can use them for projects and for countries and for beneficiaries that cannot afford a loan. So, so in fact, you, you, you save grant money. And the German experience has shown that over the last uh, six years, while the overall budget stagnated, uh, with the blending instrument, more grant funds actually flew into uh, low-income countries. What does that mean then for aid organizations that are perhaps now worried about losing money because more money might be put into these types of mechanisms? Is that really a valid concern? Not to my assessment. In the end, 
uh, there's no money lost. The, loss, the money is, is, uh, is invested in a more intelligent way. So the, the EC budget uh, for branding is not taken away from other budgets. Uh, in the end, the EC budget is just used to, to reach uh, bigger project volumes together with other funds and to reach uh, uh, also sectors that, that otherwise couldn't be, uh, couldn't be reached. But of course the EC and, and also the German government and other bilateral uh, agencies and member states will stick to, uh, to, those, uh, to those projects and those partners that, that can be financed by, uh, by grants only, be it uh, in fragile states, be it corporations and NGOs or in, in, in very soft sectors that cannot afford, uh, afford loans, of course, these, these attention uh, will still be given to, to, uh, to those areas as well. I was going to ask you about that. How does this mechanism really grip in crisis situations, in countries that might not be governed so well, in remote areas? Is it really just for the Ghanas of the world, the rich country, or the, the, the emerging economies, the countries that are doing better? No, it's not only for emerging economies. You can also have, for instance, viable projects that are bankable, in a way, with, with such instruments uh, in poorer countries. Depends on the sector, for instance. You can, in the energy sector, for instance, you could also fund projects in, in, in poorer countries. Uh, uh, you could you could stay in the in the you could you could fund projects also in the in the health sector. We just had a, a session uh, on the instrument, uh, and we had a lady from. Uh, from the health sector that, that are funding projects with private sector money even uh, in South Africa in the health sector. So, so this, is, uh, this is possible. Uh, there are of course sectors that, that are not really eligible or not, not, not really suitable for blending. But again, I mean, uh, uh, I don't think that the EC will, will pull out of these sectors, nor uh, will, will the German government will stick into these sectors with grant money. But in other sectors where, where loans are affordable, we reduce the grant portion. So what sectors would you say lend themselves to this blending approach and what sectors don't? Well, again, I mean, uh, it, it depends on the sector and the country mm. and the project in the end. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't exclude any sector right from the beginning. But of course, there are sectors that are more suitable than others. Energy sector, I mentioned already. Uh, the transport sector is, is for us an, an interesting sector uh, because it offers uh, new forms of, of cooperation. It's not only the, the construction of a road, which, which most people would think of classical transport sector. No, you could talk about um, urban mobility, climate friendly, uh, new forms of, of urban uh, public transport. This is, this is a growing field of attention that, that, is, uh, that would be bankable under such instruments. Uh, the water and wastewater sector uh, in, certain, in certain countries, certain regions, would also be a sector that, that, is, uh, that I see as, as, as one of the, the main areas. What role does blending have in the toolbox of innovative financing mechanisms that you're exploring right now? For us, it has a very important role. We, we, uh, as I said, we're already working with blending. Uh, uh, more than half of the projects, the new commitments we are making now on behalf of the German government or, or, or together with the EC, more than half of those new commitments are blended funds. Uh, so it, it has a massive role already and with the EC we hope and we think that with the new blending platform this role will be even increased. Are there any other tools that you're exploring? You know, a year from now if we talk again, what will be the new financing mechanisms? Uh, as I said, blending uh, is, not, is not one form of, uh, of financial instrument alone. It, it offers a wide range of possibilities and, and we hope that within this, this, this blending toolbox we can, we can push the financial frontier, go from the nowadays used parallel subsidy more into uh, more intelligent forms of blending such as uh, interest rate subsidies, such as guarantee uh, instruments. This is truly fascinating. I'm sure we'll hear a lot more about it. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned to DevX.